Now, a question I get asked all the time is, Richard, should I bother applying to a master's or postgraduate degree? And with degrees being one to two years in the UK at master's level and possibly more for other postgraduates, as well as an on average £15,000 cost for UK students and multiples more for business school and international students, it's a serious time and financial investment in your education. Now, I was going through comments the other day trying to get back to as many as I can and I came across this gem. It points out that if someone already has completed an excellent internship and they have a job offer lined up, why should they apply to a business school and spend their hard earned money? Good question. And it got me thinking, what are the good reasons to and not to study a master's? And yes, if you know your career, if you've already got a dream job offer lined up, you might as well jump into it. That is a good reason not to study a master's. A couple more reasons not to apply to a master's is applying thinking blindly it will guarantee you a job. It doesn't, you still need to work hard and apply to jobs throughout your master's. The worst reason to apply to a master's is to put off thinking about your career. You can't escape it, you should be thinking about it as soon as possible. Now, let's look at some good reasons why a master's or postgraduate qualification might be beneficial and worth that investment. You do not have a job lined up and want to use this year to apply to jobs to avoid a CV gap. You're looking to jump the career ladder, to not go in at the bottom as an executive, but as an associate. And your research shows that a master's of one year can help you jump two or three years ahead in your career, making it worth the investment. You recently left your job, possibly were fired or let go, and you're applying to a master's to avoid a lengthy CV gap. You're looking for a career change. For example, you want to jump into a career in law and have identified that the PGDL is the best route for you. Or else perhaps you want to take a more quantitative or business focused master's to help you accelerate that career change. You want to work in the UK, and the two-year graduate visa is going to help you to find an opportunity to relocate into the UK. Your research shows that your earnings potential is severely limited by your current education. Potentially, you went to a non-Russell Group University, or you've looked at the LEO data, that's the government data on earnings one, three, and five years after graduation, and seen that the degree that you'd studied has some of the lowest career earnings out there in the UK. Now, we help many students in this situation get into a top Russell Group University, typically the top five universities in the UK for masters, and do courses such as management, finance, or law, so that their earning potentials are three to five times higher than their expected earnings with their undergraduate degree. This is a fantastic reason to study the masters, and it is well worth that time and money investment. A master's will teach you employability and transferable skills that will fast track your career. For example, an MBA teaching you managerial skills to unlock senior management positions. To prepare for further academia, such as a PhD, although in this case, you should look at an MPhil or indeed apply to a PhD. Lastly, a controversial one. You've identified that you haven't quite got the professional maturity to stand out in a job. Now, this is different from just using a master's to avoid thinking about your career because you are going to use that year to research as much as you can in your desired career paths and be applying for those jobs. Now, remember, when you get into a master's, you are almost immediately going to be starting to apply for the jobs. The most competitive jobs have applications that finish before December, so you'll start your master's in September, and your first term is typically spent more focused on job applications for when you graduate than the actual master's itself. So it's really important that when you get into master's, you immediately start thinking about how and where you are going to apply. Luckily the profs, we also have careers application consultancy. So if you want help with your job applications or research, 
do contact our expert career consultants using the information at the end of this video to get a no commitment consultation on how we can help you to stand out beyond your postgraduate qualification. Now for many people, a master's is prohibitively expensive. It is worth researching companies that allow you to pay for your master's after graduation through salary deductions. This means that you might have your master's paid for you in a loan, which you pay back as a percentage of a salary, akin to how student loan finances work for UK students at undergraduate level. It's a fantastic scheme to look into that might, if you pick the right masters and career, help you to unlock doors to much higher earnings potentials. So what do you think of this list? What are your reasons why you did or didn't study a masters? I'd love to see them in the comments below. I'm genuinely interested to understand how people make this decision. If you found this helpful, please do like, comment and subscribe as always. And if you'd like a no commitment consultation on whether a master's is right for you, contact us using the information on screen now and talk to someone such as myself to understand what a master's might offer you. Most importantly, for those applying, good luck.